today's video, we're going to Vermont. We're packing up Paul's 1989 Volkswagen Westphalia camp mobile, putting it on a car trailer, and taking it to him. He caught an airline up there two weeks ago. He's moved up to Vermont. We're taking his van and a lot of his personal possessions up to him. Got him an apartment. We're gonna get him all packed in. On this trip to Vermont, we also stopped by the Vermont Country Store. And on the way home from Vermont, we were stopping by the dealership that we ordered our rig from. If you saw a few weeks back, we put out a video about our frustrations and waiting on it. Well, watch this video because there's some new information. All right, so we are loaded, loaded to the gills. Got the VW van on the car trailer. Slam packed full of all of our son Paul stuff. Look at that. You can't fit anything else in there. Not only that, <laughs> back of the truck, full. So we are loaded down. We just hope that tonneau cover will clear everything. Strapped and ready to go. Virginia to Vermont. And just like that, nothing to see. Abracadabra. Pull out early in the morning. I'm gonna take y'all with us. Going to Vermont. All right, we are in Harrisburg, PA. Just wanna check and make sure the load is still secure. Just finished eating. And we're about four and a half hours into our journey. Everything's looking good. Yep, we're about four and a half hours into our journey. We stopped at Cracker Barrel here. Got a little something to eat. A little over eight hours to go to get to in Vermont where we're going. So check in with you in a little bit. So far, so good. Traveling on Thanksgiving day, so it's, the traffic has been really light. Hope that doesn't jinx me. We left dark 30 this morning. So. But the car trailer's doing pretty good. But I tell you what, U-Haul does not maintain their, their stuff. The tires are bald. One was about flat when we left. But so far, a little over four hours in, it's still holding together. So anyway, we're going to get back on the interstate and motor on. It's a little bit tough because... We can't run 70 with this trailer. Well, we probably could, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. But anyway, we're staying safe. What's your thoughts, Pebs? She said, I got Cracker Barrel bacon. I'm okay. Being still back there. Here we go. <laughs> so when you come through the truck stops, if you have a TSD card, you're not supposed to sit here and go inside and block the pumps. Just saying. If you have a TSD card, you know anything about it, you go through the truck lanes to get your diesel, a huge discount. So we pull in and... Right. Yep, going right. Okay. Being respectful of the truckers, there was a lane that had a car transport, like a hotshot driver. So I pull in behind him, because there's a couple open lanes and trucks were coming in. Dude must have went in there and sat down and had Thanksgiving meal left his truck in the gas lane, the fuel lane, didn't pull up like you're supposed to, then comes out, takes his time getting in his truck. You know, he's gotta take his jacket off and all that stuff. And uh, just rude, man. People, people are all just right here in their own little bubble. I'm not thinking about anybody else. Anyway, that's my rant. And, we're going to try to watch our friends Jen and Kyle. They're going to live cooking with Kyle here in a few minutes. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay, that's so, open. You want to be sure. cruising through Vermont, we stopped at the Vermont Country Store. It's like a, apparently it's a must, a must stop place. But it's a lot of stuff in there. 
cozy clothes to candies and foods and it's really nice and it is pet friendly you can take your dog in there they encourage it I had to give me a little snack Plenty of plenty of parking. They even have a hiking trail up there. We can ask him. They have a little dog walk. And very cute. Got to find out what is the closest campground here. This is definitely somewhere you'd want to spend a day or two. And we passed the sign for him just a few miles back. Yeah. have to get a magnet. Maybe mom would want a magnet. Okay, this is the magnet we picked. Vermont. That'll go in our new rig. Be the first magnet. Okay, so after a 12 hour drive and hauling, we arrived to our hotel. I don't think I'd park there. Well, I'm going to. And we don't really know what's going on. So, yep. Like Megan was saying, 12 hour plus drive, towing the van, got here, unloaded everything, come to our hotel. And they greeted us with lights. <laughs> but we got Paul unloaded. He's got a big old mess in his apartment now. He gets to organize and we'll catch him tomorrow because it's late and we're tired. Okay, and then this. So we're just thankful this didn't happen on our trip up, towing the trailer with the van. So it's supposed to get several, oops, I'm slipping. It's supposed to get several inches of snow. And we're not, we're not supposed to leave until day after tomorrow. So who knows? Oh well, just another 
exciting leg to our adventure. So today's day we're leaving Vermont. We had a casualty. It's hard on my diesel. I don't have a um, block heater on this truck. You know, it's a southern truck. <laughs> well, we're gonna say goodbye to the hotel. No hard feelings. It is just before 8 a.m. And we're gonna head on down to the RV dealership that we ordered our rig from, which is in Pennsylvania. It's about an eight hour trip today. We're just gonna stop in and check on them and look at a couple other models they have. Again, we're continuing with our plan B. She, there oh, she is, she's all bundled up. We gotta get the heat going. Heading to Pennsylvania. It's cold, Dad. Any words of wisdom for everybody? <sighs> stay south. <laughs> yeah, stay south. Amen. All right, we're in Milroy, Pennsylvania. Stop to get some diesel. It's expensive as all get out. It's cold, snowing. The dealership that we ordered our rig from is just right over here. We're gonna go over there and surprise them this morning and uh, see what's happening. See if they have anything else we might want. Yes, it's true. Four dollars a gallon for diesel. This is a neat place. It's called Rudders. But this is the gloomy Pennsylvania weather followed us down from Vermont. Okay, hon. Tell them about the morning. So we were able to go up to the dealership in Pennsylvania and see Chris that um, has <laughs> that we have ordered and, um, and been waiting for, as you know and got good news while we were there he was able to find that our rig is offline is that what he called it yep it's been built done it's sitting there Woo -hoo! so now it's just a matter of it being sent to the dealership and us locking it in so um it feels like a good day so far yeah it was it was worth going out of the way a little bit on our trip to visit them and i really think that maybe you know we tried to go in and be positive and just um, show that we've been patient and I think that um, going in and not really fussing was probably the best approach but but really trying to impress upon the fact that we have plans we just need updates we need to know what's going on um, and with that we were able to get some good information so exciting very encouraging so 2022 is looking looking up <laughs>